Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Annalisa. This is a tarot reading for how do I heal this situation. So this can be any kind of any kind of situation. The first couple of cards I pick out is going to be describing what's going on in the in the dynamic, and um, then we'll be looking into how to resolve it. So you can tell from the first couple of cards whether this resonates with what's going on for you right now. So I have three decks for you to choose from. The Cos Cosmic Tarot with the Shungite. We have the Ak Akashic Tarot with Ocean Jasper. And the Arcanum Tarot with the Citrine Point. So choose your deck, one, two, three, and follow the timestamps below to get your message. Okay, group number one. What is going on in group number one's situation? And how can they heal? How can they heal? Number one, number one, what's going on in their situation? The four of Wands and the Six of Cups. Okay, so you want you want to get with someone romantically. There's someone who you're interested in. Um, where it could be a third, a, like a three-party, three-way situation, two women, one men, um, could all have dark hair, and somebody is looking away, turning away from the situation, um, and somebody else is kind of receiving but not happy like no one looks happy in this situation even though these should be really like romantic and joyful cards with passion and love and um connection there is a kind of coolness there's like this we see this couple there's a kind of cold cool energy a cold energy there and there's this kind of fire passion kind of energy here as well and it's almost like Nobody's looking in each other's eye. Nobody's fully connecting with, with what's um, really going on under the surface, emotionally, in the heart space. Let's see what the resolution is. The Princess of Cups and the Five of Swords. You see, here we go. This can be about choosing what is best for you over maybe what you're you kind of think you want in terms of relationship this is about choosing to be independent choosing to let go of a situation choosing to end something to end a cycle put put a um a, a line underneath anything that is um causing you mental distress mental upset if it's if it's making you worried making you upset making you confused there's something about taking the time to protect, to hold, to protect, like she's protecting this cup, protect your heart, protect your emotion, protect what's going on inside you, and really stand in your own power and in your own authority for doing this. Let's get some clarifiers. Okay, for some of you, for some of you, this is um, about a situation where actually um, some of you, like, it's a situation you really want that you believe is going to bring you a lot of happiness, a lot of fulfillment, um, where maybe things are coming together and it's about taking the risk and taking the chance that even though something doesn't feel, um, you may not be fully kind of 
feel like it's it's fully connected if you take a risk take a chance then you're going to bring it in but i do feel this chance is about cutting something out i think this this is like what you want wants you but it's almost like you need to distance yourself from it in order to let it in I'm going to clarify this Fool card that came out. Yeah, so I think when you when you take some distance, you've got the King of Wands and the Devil card. When you step back and create space, you're going to create this void which allows momentum and speed and action to actually happen. So, um, yeah, in, in order to really bring in your desire, I think you need to move away let's get some advice from the romance angels codependency mm -hmm. addictions are affecting your romantic life so when you when you make a clear cut and make clear what your is okay or not okay for you that makes you more attractive to others and kind of calls in that energy and also stops any immaturity that's going on retreats this is what was in my head. This was the card I could see. Like, just move away, take some space, um, distance yourself from this um, this situation, and do just do what's right for you, what you need right now. Let's get one more. Give your relationship a chance, okay? And I think then there's going to be like another chance, a second chance to come in. Let's just get one more fairy card to clarify all this. There we go. Yeah, the bright mother. This is like turning the cold shoulder. This is actually removing yourself from a situation, even though it feels good and feels like what you want. There's something about it that's not healthy. And when you take your space, it's going to create um, a vacuum that allows what you want to actually come in how you want it. I hope that wasn't too <laughs> cryptic a description, but that's my message for you, group number one. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I look forward to chatting with you another time. Group number two, how do you heal this situation? How do you heal this situation? Okay. There's some manipulation going on. There's some kind of games or patterns. Uh, and it feels like really really taking time you or someone else is really taking time to go into what is actually going on in this situation to sink deep into thought and, and understanding about different strategies that are going on i feel like you know some someone is playing games or multiple people are playing games and there needs to be this time to really reflect and go into what that is about why it's happening how it's impacting on a wider collective of people so for example this could be you or someone um you know trying to control a situation get what they want um to try and move things forward and there's there's a desire <laughs> i think even to play both sides of the game you know to play with the chariot that came in here it's like this person or you trying to control everything Right, trying to manage everything in a situation and make this happen how you want, make that happen how you want, and try and like keep everything in its place and strategize the whole thing. So I feel like in order to move, someone's taking time to really try and think out. Well, if 
if I do this, that will lead to that, and that will lead to that, and and multiple options like that within within like the chess game, how it's going to impact and, and create a new situation as you move forward. Let's see what the um, advice is to heal this situation. We've got the Queen of Scrolls and the Master Artisan. So the Queen of Scrolls can be um, a female person in your life or can represent you. Someone with wisdom, with intelligence, someone who um, yeah, has, has access to knowledge and learning and feels like they can have sight or insight, deep insight into a situation. And we've got the Master Artisan, which is all about work. It's about um, finding um, ways to really be successful and to um, create uh, wisdom. Create. You can see this guy is dropping these pearls, blue pearls in, or blue gems into this guy's hand. It's like receiving this learning, receiving this knowledge, this, this depth. Um, so yeah, I feel like this is all about learning. There's a deep sense of learning going on here. Information, knowledge, understanding, strategizing. And I feel like writing might be really important for you right now. Taking time to put things on paper, to journal um, what, what it is, like the information that's coming in or what you're learning. It's like taking time to really understand, understand that. Let's clarify this row. Yeah, when you sit in the High Priestess with the Two of Swords, this is really about going inside and, and understanding a situation from a really deep, still point. This is about going into meditation, about going into stillness, about um, really learning your lessons. Just pick up this one. Yeah, um, particularly about being defensive, about holding back, about what you want, how you how you achieve what you want, because it feels like there is something you really have your mind set on, your heart set on, and you're really trying to understand how to get there and how to um, succeed in that. Maybe you've you've kind of had setbacks or you've been rejected or you've you know it, this could be for example at work where you want to move forward and create um, uh, a new project or something within your organization. And it's like you've received setbacks and you're, you're taking this time to really understand, well, how could I achieve that? What am I willing to sacrifice? What am I willing to give? What do I need to do? What do I need to let go of? And really allowing for that process that, um, uh, like immersing yourself in that in that understanding and knowledge to to learn what to do to move forward. I've got some romance angels cards and some guidance as well. With the guidance, yeah, finances and career, okay, affecting your love life. So it's really important to maybe take time to focus on work right now. You need to be really focused in um, looking after your practical side of your life, how you're managing your money, how you're working in your career and to um, trust that putting energy into that right now is is really important and deception okay someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship so yeah I think if you're not strategizing other people are strategizing or you think other people are strategizing and you're trying to understand the game need to understand the game but it's you might need to prioritize other things first of all and put your your work first to really understand it get one more advice card from the fairies or two we've got he of the fiery sword and tobias of the waters yeah there's there's like some kind of thing to cut out he of the fiery sword is this really masculine yang energy of just being very direct very firm and really just um where things are not not working or not suitable for you or not um not good it's like however sad that may be however um disappointment because this is a card really about crying and about grieving and about feeling the emotions it's like it's like i need to do that i need to take those action i need to 
um, cut off things that aren't aren't serving and and be aware of where you are being um, you maybe you feel like you're being manipulated or you're being used or you're being deceived and cutting cutting that kind of thing off and you're gonna you're gonna get that understanding knowing what to do and how to go about it through really taking time um, just to be still in your wisdom and your learning. Okay, group number group number two. Thank you for tuning in. That's my message for you today. I hope it makes sense and gives you some insight. Please subscribe to my channel below. You can book a private reading with me if you want personal information, more personal information, or drop a comment, say hi, thumbs up. Thank you so much. Number three, Knight of Swords has jumped out twice there. <laughs> really wants to be seen. This is about communication. Communication. What is being communicated or not being communicated or being communicated too roughly or too sharply? Um, this is like the, the Knight of Swords is like in out, like first in choo choo choo. Could be quite charming, you know, can be quite a good talker, a good conversationalist. And, and then just, you know, charges out again. It's, it's this like lightning energy, you know, chuk chung in, out. Uh, we've also got the Seven of Cups and the Strength card. So it might need be a time to really be strong in your emotions. It might be quite overwhelming. Not quite sure how to organize things or what, what goes in what cup. What's good for me? What's not good for me? What makes me feel good? What doesn't? Um, where do I need to focus my energy, how do I manage my emotions, um, how do I stay, uh, how do I not let my emotions control me and control my life. A few things going on for you. Let's see, what's the situation? We've got, here we go, the King of Swords. King of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. So someone is feeling left out, someone is feeling rejected, someone is feeling... Um, unworthy so somebody may have taken control in a situation so we can see here someone may have taken control trying to hold a situation being very logical being very um in their mind in their thoughts and really making decisions from a place of logic and from a place of um you know what might seem like a, a logical idea what makes sense to the mind um, but what's going on is that this is creating some kind of, uh, this is essential poverty. This is being, um, being, uh, feeling like lacking something, feeling unsupported, feeling um, alone, feeling not enough, feeling rejected out of the picture. So this could be someone, someone's cut you out or you've cut someone out. Um, and it's creating this feeling of um, of being destitute. Let's see what the healing is. Wow, we've got the Empress and the Ten of Cups. So this is, I feel, really directed at the person who's feeling cut out or left out. Really, it's up to them to um, stand in their power. When they stand in their power and in their strength and really know who they are and know their own value, without the King of Swords needing to tell them that they're valuable, when they know it themselves, they can bring in the happiness, the contentment that they want, their emotional satisfaction. 
So it's really about this person standing in their standing in their full power. Let's clarify these with the um, Morgan Greer Tarot. Yeah, just this confirming the truth of the situation. There's some learning going on here, perception going on about giving your power over to someone else and not allowing that. Mm. But when you take this time, Hermit card, we've got some a lot of major arcana here. Um, really taking this time to go inside, see your own light, your own value. Everything's going to be fine and work out just fine. So really, uh, it's really important for you to stand in your knowing of your own beauty and value and identifying that for yourself and creating this contentment and love for yourself. Let's clarify with a couple of romance angel cards. What's the guidance please for group number three? We've got very soon, which is always nice. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Decide, I am the queen, I am the empress, I am the leader, the emperor of my life. I want my wishes to come true. I, I believe I can have what I want. I believe anything's possible. I believe that things are going to work out for me. Retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world and chemistry. So again, taking time to focus on yourself, go inside, nurture and love yourself and build up your own esteem, and this is magnetizing. Okay, one more guidance card. Okay, is this like slightly trickster energy? There could be someone who is hiding something in the situation, someone's not really showing exactly what's going on, or they're affected by their inner child. You might be affected by your inner child, like going into this victim mentality, so not getting what you want from, you know, mummy or daddy, the representatives in real life, which can be real life people, friendships, partners, family in real life, not getting what you want, then going into this ego space where you feel like you, know, you want to just like lash out and um, attack. And and so acknowledging that in this inner child, because this is again um, about this kind of playful childish energy and it can be like you allow yourself to be, when, when you go into that victim mentality and into that childlike nature, you um, attract in more of that energy yourself. And, and so it's about honoring your inner child, you know, that it's okay. Like we've been through these experiences in our life that are difficult, that have um, been challenging, but giving that some love and some attention to that little inner child so that you can be a grown up because it's it's this is a need to kind of grow up. Basically this situation is like when you grow up, <laughs> when you take responsibility um, for your life and um, it take time to um, not allow yourself to be defeated by what you perceive as going on, then you're going to really um, be surprised how much really wants to come into you and uh, bless you in your life, this abundance that wants to come in, this light that wants to come in. Okay, mini reading for you. Thank you so much for joining me, group number three. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. You can book a private reading with me below. Lots of love.